All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. We are live on air again, and I apologize. Yesterday, I could not go live on air because this new YouTube thing is not working. I hope the voices sound good. Let me know, please, if you have any problem from your side. Uh, we, you know, yesterday, and you know, like uh, we heard about shooting and killing, and those news became normal these days. You know, to the point violence became like a daily news around the world uh, but it might be shocking to see in countries which is supposedly a lot more secure and safe from other countries otherwise shooting is a daily news in Afghanistan Somalia Syria Iraq etc you name it so uh, violence is a problem and violence should be rejected by us but you know violence is not just uh, you know something new human being you know even the bible teach us that the children of adam one of them killed the other uh, brother so if a human being is willing to kill his brother why he will not kill a stranger uh, always there is somebody he like violence and he is attracted to violence but our worry is not just an individual he might be mentally ill but when an individual who is mentally ill claim to be a teacher and there's millions and millions and millions of people they follow this teacher that will become more dangerous you know all of us were against uh, what hitler did so imagine if hitler he announced himself as a prophet and he says uh, killing people is all right actually this is what he said and he's this is what he did but lately we start noticing that a new propaganda is coming to the surface as we see in the front of us this is an organization is called emiristan this organization they have tons of videos all of them they are sponsoring violence by covering up for violence and i will explain to you what does that mean you know when you try to promote ideas which is false covering up for violence you are not stopping violence you are making violence legal as an example, those people, they claim that Islamic Sharia law sponsor women. is not against women, but you have a wrong understanding. As example, they claim that Islam is not a racist cult, but it is anti-racism. And not only that, Muhammad is the first anti-racist. As an example, this site claimed that Muhammad was not a prophet of war. He was just a man defending himself. You can watch their videos and you will die laughing at the lies after lies after lies. I'm not going to play all their videos, but what we will do, very simple. To prove that everything they say there is absolutely false. And what they do, they bring you someone supposedly is a Christian minister in a church. If we go to their uh, uh, YouTube page, I'm not going to play their videos. But I will show you their YouTube page so you can get an idea how this propaganda works. As you see here in the front of us, this is a minister from a Protestant church. In other video I saw, they brought someone to us, supposedly is it from a Catholic church, as you see. And all of them, they are saying one thing. We share the same God, we share the same value, and Muslims, they worship like us, same God, and they don't teach violence, and Islam does not teach violence and uh, uh, Islam is a peaceful religion and obviously you Christians you have a very wrong idea in other way you are a bunch of stupid you do not know what are you talking about so they bring you someone claiming to be Christian or Catholic or Protestant whatever you want to call that name and then they start quoting for you some verses from the Quran in order to deceive you and says to you uh, or oh, Islam teach good things about Jesus about uh, peace about etc so today we are going to examine how truthful those people are I cannot play all the videos for you in order to get them busted all of them one by one but why want to do that I mean we get the idea Muhammad is not the prophet of war is that true Muhammad is a person of peace and he was defending himself is that true and then they start quoting for us verses from the Quran. But the deception is amazing. When they quote for us a verse from the Quran, they forgot that the Quran is speaking about 
like as an example they say to you Islam a Quran is against transgression okay but what does that mean they will not tell you if you don't believe in Islam you transgress this is what transgress mean if you don't believe in Islam you are a person who transgress it's not about you waging war the second you don't believe in Islam you are doing transgress if we go in the Quran we will find this and let us hit the snake head the Quran make it clear that Muhammad he was fighting Christians and Jews for very simple reason and here uh, for me as a Christian I will speak about the Christian first the Quran make it clear that anyone who don't believe from in Islam from the Christians or the Jews he had either to be killed or to pay jizya and jizya the Muslims they lie to us and they say this is nothing but a tax but the fact as you see in the Quran it says with willing and him in submission and him to be subdued humiliated and if you read the interpretation for this verse you will see that all Muslims agree that because the Christian refused to accept Islam Muhammad he have to launch a war on them and kill them all or you can live but you have to pay me and not only you have to pay me you have to pay to live and you have to live like less than an animal just to prove my point I'm not saying things from my own I'm going to go and show you the interpretation for this as Muslims agree not as a Christian Prince said remember because what matter at the end of the day is what the real Islam teach not what some people make articles maybe me maybe you maybe a Muslim but the truth will be exposed those are the scholars who Muslims they follow their opinion with no hesitation this is Ibn Kathir one of the well-known scholar for Muslims and we can change the scholar doesn't matter really for me all of, all of them by the way uh, Ibn Kathir is one of the moderate scholars supposedly compared to the others who they are a lot older than him in history but is still he is trying to make Islam look better, but even the one who is moderate, look what he say. Non-Muslims are mushrikeen, and they are impure, and they are dirty. If you go in the website here, you will see they say to us that who is the first racist? Who is the first anti-racist? Well, obviously, it's Muhammad. Who is the first anti-racism? Muhammad are you kidding me for sure it's Muhammad <laughs> but look the Quran says if you are not a Muslim you are dirty filthy and not only that there is no go zone and until now they practice that so how you go and say to the Christian that Islam teach the same value of Christianity did Jesus says that those who they are not Christians that there is no go zone for them because they are filthy dirty did Jesus say is because somebody did not believe in me I believe that he is dirty and he should not be allowed to walk in certain streets if you don't believe me you can see you can go to Prophet Google peace upon him and you can search for Muslim only Mecca Muslim only yes my friend Muslims only this is not from the cave time this is what they have right now in their highway Muslims only you see the signs all of those saying Muslims only this is not a fiction we are not making things up and as you see in the screen there's a highway for the Muslims and there's a highway for non-Muslims so if you go in the wrong way you are risking your life and they might chop your head because you are filthy dirty and the Quran says it clearly that those are mushrikeen which means filthy they are not allowed to enter a holy area so how is them teaching anti-racism when you consider mankind you consider more than seven billion human being filthy for a very simple reason they don't accept Muhammad including the Christian the Jews the atheists the Hindus the Buddhas and nobody left 
so in this website they try their best to present to us false information about the man his name is Muhammad that this guy he fought against racism he don't believe in racism and not to forget to mention that Muhammad considered that the black man is the most enemy for Allah and he considered that shaitan is a black person and he considered that even should even a black dog just because he's a black for very simple reason you are a black animal Muhammad he will kill you he told him kill every black animal and if you are a person who love animals especially dogs you explain to me what kind of religion this religion and when they speak to us in the videos they say Muhammad was a man of mercy why Muhammad he want to kill all dogs actually but then when people complain he said okay kill kill only black dogs what why why black dogs he said because the black dog is the devil so Muhammad teach that black dog is the devil and those people teach that Muhammad was a mercy for mankind and he is not a racist even animals he did not leave them alone and one of the most our I mean a friend for mankind is the dog actually if I go myself <clears throat> uh, somewhere in the middle of nowhere I prefer to have a dog with me he is better than a friend actually he will not betray you he will protect you and he will give his life to protect you you sleep he wake up so here we notice how those people they try to deceive us by saying things which absolutely disgusting because it's full of lies how someone he claimed to be a Christian minister he stand and he says Muhammad was not a prophet of war when Muhammad he said it clearly in the Quran go and kill every Christian until they pay the money or they die read with me carefully the Mushrikeen are dirty filthy and this is why we have those signs to prevent the Jews and the Christian from entering the message of the Muslims why because we are filthy who says that this is the Quran so let them they are impure by the way translation here is an impure is funny because Najis is not about being an impure Najis is mean you are filthy to the point nothing can wash you it's not just impure like impure maybe I do abolition I will be fine no you are not a Muslim and nothing will make you pure you are impure just because you are not a Muslim and here Muhammad he says the believer will never become an impure do you see it so Muhammad he said to the Muslims you are always pure they are the, the impure just because he's a believer in Muhammad and then you will see Muhammad saying that the jizya which some they lie and they say this is a tax he says them feel themselves subdued okay what does that mean means simply that they will be humiliated they will be uh, 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 you know uh, like uh, disgraced they will be uh, tortured they will be treated like not even equal to animals read carefully with me fight against those who believe not in Allah nor the last days no forbid what is forbidden by Allah see fight those who don't believe in Allah not fight those who they are fighting you they will show you different verses what the Quran says fight not if they don't fight you but in Islam if you don't believe in Islam they are fighting Islam <laughs> they will not you see how they, they try to fabricate the meaning Islam when Islam says fight those who fight you he's talking about fighting those who they are refusing Islam are we getting the point so they try to deceive you and to explain and to prove that to you let us go to the words of Muhammad is this really fighting Islam if in Islam is if you if you don't accept Islam you are fighting Islam and you are considered raging war yes let us see who is best to explain explain Islam to us more than Muhammad not like this idiot here in the in this website he know nothing about Islam he is just a person get paid and God knows what is behind this propaganda but always follow the money the best one to explain Islam is not a guy like him or even me Muhammad himself he will answer 
Look what Muhammad said. I've been ordered, commanded by Allah, to kill all mankind. Fight here is uqatil. Uqatil in Arabic means fight to kill, not fight by shoes or you know fight by debate. To fight and kill all the people until they testify that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. And if they perform salat and pray and pay the zakat, then they will do all you will earn their protection of their blood and their property. So Muhammad making it clear that he is going to kill everybody, including Muslims, by the way. If they don't pay zakat and pray like him and do as he said. So even if you say I'm a Muslim, still you might be killed. And this is why in their videos they say, huh, look, you know, you, you think that those terrorists are, uh, they, they are following Islam. In fact, they kill Muslims too, because Muhammad himself, he said, so you idiot. Muhammad, he said in the front of our eyes, if you don't do any of those things, it doesn't matter. Here we go in the front of your eyes. Your blood and your property is halal. It's kosher. And look how many times, and all of this is very authentic and not a single Muslim can deny it. So they are covering up for the violence of a criminal in order to promote violence. Because now you made us take Muhammad as a great example of way of life. So if I attack my neighbor and I take his wife, well, I'm following Islam. Because simply the Prophet said, we'll fight against those who don't accept Allah. I have been commanded, as you see. And he's talking about what? Your blood and your property. And only if you pray as we pray and eat as we eat and even face the direction as we face, only then I will not kill you. Allah Messenger said, I have been ordered to fight to kill the people till they say none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. You see, what is the reason to fight? They say to you in the video, or oh, the Quran says, fight those who fight you. And if they go for peace, go with them. No, my friend, let me explain to you how those liars, they lie to us. Muhammad, he gave Muslims opportunity. If you are weak and you cannot make victory, then you don't attack until you are ready. If you are strong and you can kill them all, then you attack and never sign for peace. Can we prove it? Absolutely. Read carefully. This is the chapter which is carrying the name of Muhammad himself. Be not weary and faint hatred, crying for peace when you should be the uppermost, for Allah is with you. Okay, so when we cry for peace, when you are not the uppermost, do you see it? Do you see it? So who is going to tell me about what Muhammad peace plan is? This guy who don't know what he's talking about, he just get paid, he's an idiot, he's a liar, he's a fabricator, he's lying to us, or what the Quran is saying. Be not weary and faint hatred, crying for peace. When? When you are the uppermost. So when we cry for peace, only when you are not the uppermost, which means temporarily. So do you see, my friend, how they lie to you? Do you see how they fabricate meaning? How we can trust? Those people in this website to be teaching us anything true. Who are they, those people? Who is behind them? How in the world somebody he claimed to be a Christian minister, he is willing to stand and lie to his teeth saying Muhammad was a person of no war and he was not a racist. And not only that, he gave women their right. You're right. Muhammad, he gave women their right since when? By beating them? By saying in the Quran that women...
or half a brain and women we can beat them and then you say and you claim that Islam and Sharia law is not really what you think this is Sharia law Sharia law is if my wife this disagree with me I can beat the hell of her they will say to you oh beat her lightly my friend first of all that is a fabrication we can prove it there's nothing is called beaten lightly first of all this is a penalty a punishment so how it's going to be lightly have you ever heard of somebody beating somebody lightly as a penalty secondly let us say it's so light aren't you going to be offended if I slam your face lightly or not lightly that will not change the facts that this is an offense and Islam teaching offense against women violence number three men are maintainers of women why because they spend their money on them and by the way if you don't like the translation translator we can change it for you I mean all Muslim translator they lie in their translation anyway all of them with no exception and you cannot get away from it unless you speak Arabic or I finish my translation for the Quran look what the Quran says men are in charge of women because they has made one Allah has made one excel the other because they spend of their property to support the women so good women are obedient guarding the secret etc and then he says as for those whom you fear rebellion admonish them banish them in bed just mean jail them in their rooms and scourge them yet in this website they are telling us that Sharia law protect women Sharia law is a good law Sharia law it uh, teach equality is it Muhammad who says that no Muslim no believer will be killed for a killing a non-Muslim where is the equality what is the equality we we have a prophet saying supposedly he's a prophet remember that a Muslim blood is not equal to non-Muslims why simply because you are not equal I mean do you have to be genius in Islam if somebody kills somebody not in a like a, for supposedly uh, a good reason and a good reason Islam can be many way for according to Islam if you leave Islam it, this is good reason to kill you right but what they will not tell you when they speak about uh, non-muslims that Islam forbid penalty of death if a Muslim kill non-Muslim what they always try to do for us is to fabricate videos quoting things out of context we don't do that as we see we can show you the interpretation for everything we just said look what Islam says in Islam if a free man kill a free man he will be killed but if he kill a slave man he will not in Islam if a man he kill a woman a woman will be killed which mean you kill my women I kill yours which is very stupid free for the free slave for the slave female for the females after Muhammad he made this law into practice people they start laughing at him and it is a stupidity and later the Muslim they will say to you oh this is abrogated and this is additional proof that Islam is a stupid religion made by a stupid author because what kind of God he says such a law on how fast you change it why it's abrogated what's wrong what was wrong Muhammad the God he found that there is something wrong in this law 
this is what they will say to you oh he abrogated because uh, because what <laughs> here you will see the hypocrisy of this religion let us go to other part if a Muslim kill a Muslim a Muslim man will be killed which means the killer what if he kill non-muslim hmm, it's okay he will pay him the price of killing a non-muslim in Iran is 500 less than 500 dollars which means the price of a goat or a cow Muhammad he said and as you see this is not me saying that Muhammad said Muslim will not be killed in relation for a murder of this believer do you see it murder did, did Muhammad say murder yes it's a murder yet the Muslim will not be killed for doing a murder why because this murder is done against someone he is not a Muslim and yet in their videos they say to do to you there is equality in Islam Sharia law is a good law this is what they say to us so in this world today you have to be careful when people they speak to you even if they claim minister Christian ministers because there's many deceivers in this earth there's many deceiver who promote violence when you cover up cover up on Muhammad teaching you are saying it's okay to beat women you are covering up for violence we just showed you the Quran saying beat them discourage them and then you come and you say oh I'm a Christian minister and I'm going to teach you that Islam does not teach really violence you are covering up for the racism for the violence for all the hate Like if you go in the website here, you will see this guy speaking. Why hate? Look, look at the look. Even at the title, the title itself is evil. Why evangelical uh, hate Muslims? You see the title itself saying something not true. Because how you can be a person following Christ and uh, Christ and you hate Muslims? When Jesus says, "Love your enemy." So the title here. Instead of saying why the other side hating the Christians is saying why the Christians hate the Muslims when we don't hate the Muslims and we will not accept any teaching of hate So they flip the truth upside down and they change the title to make it in the opposite direction and then if we go and we look carefully At what is in the Quran? The guy here in the Quran he says the Muslim believe in the same thing we believe and the, the terrorists they don't present Islam but we just showed you Muhammad want to kill everybody you don't believe in Allah and the Quran says that in chapter 5 verse ch chapter 9 29 but if we go in the Quran and actually actually in the video they use a chapter 5 verse number 16 as I remember let me see uh, 516 just to show you the deception guys the guy in the video he did read for us this verse whereby Allah guide whom who seek his good pleasure into the paths of peace he bring them out of darkness into the light by his decree this degree so they quote for us this verse but look the verse before it and the verse after it is nothing but the curse into the Christians why you as a Christian you quote for us a verse speaking about right path peace and then you avoid the verses before it the verse before it it says and with those who say lu we are a christian we made a covenant but they forgot a part of it or, or of that wherefore they were admonished therefore we stri stride up enmity and hatred among them till the day of resurrection why you did not quote for us the verse why he chose the other verse 
in the same chapter is it possible that this is an angelical priest he did not see really i mean he was able to read this the first 16 verses but he chose only 16 he did not choose number 14 he did not see it he did not see that this book saying that Allah will spread hatred and enmity. You know, how dare you, how stupid you are. If you are making a video saying that supposedly you are trying to fight hatred and the, and, and, and the title says, Why Invisualicals Hate Muslims? Which is absolutely false because you cannot be a person follow, following the Bible and you hate the Muslims. You cannot be. But yet you quote for me a chapter and you quote for me verse number 16 but you did not quote for me what the verse saying about Allah will spread hate between the Christians and this is not for the time of Muhammad only as you see until the, the judgment day if you are a person who is fighting hate shouldn't you fight this verse and if you are asking yourself why Christians they have hate as you claim in the video will hear the answer Allah is he to give them hate hypocrisy is amazing and they are assuming that you are the fool who will believe them are you are we going to be fool so people they can fool us so my friend it doesn't matter what their names Jesus said not everyone says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will and those people who they are speaking in those videos are no Christians they are a bunch of liars and hypocrites a Christian read the Quran we did my friend we just did he sent you the Quran is a book of peace there's nothing wrong there the Quran not only a book of violence and hatred the Quran teach torture and Muhammad he enjoyed torture the Quran order the Muslims to kill their enemies and to cut their fingers for fun am I lying Am I? Christians read the Quran. We did read the Quran. Okay, you want to kill them? Why you want to cut their fingers? What about a God? He is teaching the Muslims to enjoy torturing by cutting your feet and your hands from opposite direction and crucifying you. But remember, Muhammad is a prophet of mercy and he is anti war. Punishment for those who wage war against Allah. You see, here they say to you, if you wage war against somebody, he has the right to defend himself. But what they will not tell you that any me right now I'm waging war. According to Allah teaching, which means Aka Muhammad. By speaking against Muhammad, I'm waging war. This is against Allah. How you can wage, wage war Allah against Allah? Anyone can explain to me? How we can wage war against Allah? Very simple. The answer is very simple. Just do anything against Allah teaching. Including starting from believing in Muhammad. The second you don't believe in Muhammad, you are waging a war. And this is the punishment. Execution. Crucifixion, cutting off their hands and their feet from opposite side. Do you see it? Somebody saying, uh, let me show you this comment here. The Arabian prophet Muhammad was persecuted for 13 years in Mecca. How can he be a liar? First of all, there's no proof of that. And the proof is the opposite. Because if Muhammad was shouting and screaming in Mecca and he was not killed in Mecca, then he was not as you claimed. The second Muhammad, he left Mecca, he attacked his tribe. They did not attack him. 
not a single time in Mecca they attack Muhammad otherwise Muhammad will be killed he's just a guy with a few followers so all those lies is a big fat lie secondly Jesus was persecuted in Jerusalem yet he did not say to his followers go and kill the Jews and he did not go in the highway and he do a piracy job so so he can take their wallet and their clothes from them and their camels you see how they try to fabricate answers and all after all what I showed you here now you are saying to me the prophet was persecuted in Mecca and let us say let us assume that what you said is true so why you are saying those who don't believe in Allah I'm going to kill you let us say those people they are bad just for the sake of argument how you can explain to me you have a prophet saying okay you know what if you don't believe in me I'm going to cut your pieces this is the constitution of your prophet I've been commanded to kill everybody <laughs> so they try to defend falsely with false statement because even that statement does not give you the right to say I've been ordered to, to kill everybody so why he did not kill the people in Mecca in his time when he was there between them because he cannot he was just a you know by himself so he was playing that he is a peaceful man until he got enough men and attacked them and killed them all right Always they try to fool us with their own propaganda. This is the constitution of Muhammad, and this is what Muhammad he said he will do, and this is exactly what he did. Yeah, we could not uh, do broadcast yesterday, so I found the software. Uh, for now, we have a free trial, so later maybe we will have to pay $20 a month well, what we can do I mean YouTube is messed up is the picture the image everything is coming good the voice this is the first time we try this software I hope it's coming good if there is any Muslim would like to prove me wrong please feel free all right you're more than welcome to prove me wrong why not I mean we will ha be happy to see a Muslim proving me wrong and look here, Muhammad not only saying you have to convert to Islam, no, it's not enough. Even if you convert to Islam, this is why ISIS was killing people who they are supposed to be Muslims. But according to Islam, they are apostate. Why? Look, and if they say so, if they say so, what? They say Shahada. And they pray like our prayer. Uh-huh. And face the Qibla, which means face Mecca. And not even that, even they slaughter as we slaughter, which means they eat as we eat. Then do you see the word then then their blood and their property is safe from being slaughtered so if you say I'm a Muslim I say Shahada Muhammad says that's not enough still I will kill you if you break any of those you pray like us you pay the zakat you slaughter as we slaughter you eat as we eat you face the and then if you break any of them eh, Legally, I will kill you, which means this is my law. Do you see it? Who can deny that? Any Muslim can deny that? Uh, let me show you this uh, this uh, uh, he said they did hit him with the rock my friend I can show you right now the story of the rock and you will see that Muhammad was fighting with them he was in war with them you idiot and if you are speaking about the time they broke his uh, his teeth that is different tribe if you are talking about the, the people who did beat him 
he went to invite them to Islam. They did beat him up and humiliated him. And he waited for four or five days before he entered Mecca. This is a different tribe, different location. However, the liar is you because I am showing you the proof in front of you. I have been commanded. What is the command? Who is talking? Muhammad, not me, not you. To kill all the people. Until what? Until they stop fighting me? No. And until they stop beating me as you claim? No. Until they stop throwing rocks at me? No. Until they say none has the right to worship and Muhammad is a prophet and they pray as we pray and etc. So your answer is a false answer. Actually, it's a silly answer. You could not answer what we are showing the screen, so you have to come with your own propaganda. Isn't it your prophet who says that or me? Isn't it him who practiced that or me? I have been commanded to fight all the people. Until what? Not until they stop throwing rocks at me. No. The target is so clear. They have to say Shahada, saying that Muhammad is a prophet, and they have to eat as he eat, and he have to pray as he pray. And you see, all those are authentic stories. And no Muslim can deny them. And if everybody throw a rock at me, I will go to kill him and kill his people. What kind of religion this religion is? If this is your excuse. Jesus in the cross, he forgave the Jews. Even he is dying in the cross. He said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. So a Muslim, he tried to find a way to get out of the madness of the violence of Muhammad. He fabricated stories and he came to us. He says, well, they were discriminating him. So what? You Muslim discriminate us Christians for centuries. I never heard of a Christian in the Middle East carrying a gun and going inside the mosque shooting people. We are discriminated for 14 centuries. If you don't believe me, you can go right now and read Ibn Kathir speaking about the Pact of Omar. You want to see it? Read with me carefully. Because you might say, oh, this is not true. Uh, we protect the Christian. All right, yeah. You protect the Christian, my friend. Look at this. It's clear. Until they pay the jizya. Because if they do not choose to embrace Islam. So this is a penalty for refusing Islam with willing submission and defeat do you see it and feel themselves dis subdued disgraced humiliated so you have to humiliate us and look muslims are not allowed to honor the people of the dimma the, the dimma is the, the people of the christians or elevate them above muslims or for they are miserable disgraced humiliated muslim recorded from abu huraira that the prophet said, who said the prophet? Look at the teaching of the prophet. The, 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 the prophet of equality and peace. If you see a Christian or a Jew in the street, you spit in his face. You force him to walk in the sewage. You have to humiliate him. Read carefully. Do not initiate the salam, or the word peace, to the Jews and the Christians. And if you meet any of them in the road, force them to the narrowest alley. This is the teaching of a prophet. If a Muslim, he see a Christian or a Jew in the street. You see the narrowest alley here is the sewage. In the old day, there was a tunnel beside the street where dirty water from the houses come out. The woman be behind the, the door of the house, she do her laundry. And then she uh, let the water go under the door. And then the water will go in that tunnel, which is open sewage. In the street so the prophet of Allah because he's a very peaceful and he have a very good manner and he is a have a very good ethic he said to the Muslims if you see a Christian or a Jew you have to humiliate him disgrace him 
force him to walk in the sewage. So if you are saying to me, there are some people that did throw rocks at your prophet, he killed them. So what those Christians should do to you then, according to you, according to your logic? Here we go. You do that to us as a Christians in the Middle East, and we did not do. I never heard of a Christian attacking Muslims in the Middle East. And you practice this on us for 1,400 years. Do you know why? Not because we are coward, but because we are Christians. Otherwise, violence is very easy. If you want to go crazy, you can go crazy any second you want. Actually, act of violence, especially the one happening against civilian women and children, is an act of a coward man, not a man. He go where nobody have guns and he start shooting, for he's a coward. The same as the teaching of your prophet saying, beat your wife, that is an act of a coward. A real man, he will not beat his wife. So what Islam teaching, if you see somebody weaker than you, you beat the hell of him. Oh, I cannot beat you in the street. You are a man. I'm going to go and beat my wife because this is what is allowed to, to, to for me to do officially, legally, brother. Hmm? Is that true or we are making things up? Hmm? And the Muslim, they try always to come with false translation and say to you, ah, it says first, it says second. I challenge the Muslim to show me where in the verse it says second and first and where it says lightly. You see, let me show you. If you see this translation here, it says, uh, admonish them first between two bracket next refuse to share bed with them where it says refuse to share it says which means jail them in their rooms is not their beds it's their rooms at least beat them lightly look at the false translators does it say lightly let us see what Muhammad he did Muhammad he taught a man a Muslim man who beat his wife until he made her skin greener than his clothes. That is right. And he took the side of the man against the women. And the story in the front of us. This man, his name is Abu Abdul Rahman. He married an ex-wife of a guy, his name is Rifa. And now the women, she don't want to sleep with him. So Muhammad took the side of the man, ordering the man to rape his wife. In the top of that, the man, he did hit her until he made her skin greener than her clothes. Read. Aisha, she said, I have not seen any women suffering as much as a believing woman. Look, her skin greener than her clothes. Who's saying that? Aisha, not Christian prince. Aisha saying, that the most horrible life for a woman is the Muslim women life. Did you see it? It's not me saying that. I have not seen any women suffering as much as the believing women. Look, her skin is a greener than her clothes. Do you see the light beating? It's light beating to the point her skin is a greener than her clothes. And what Muhammad did after that? Did he say to the man, shame on you? No, he took the side of the man. Read the story. <laughs> he took the side of the man and he gave him the verse saying, beat your wife. Yeah. And not only that, he forced the women to have sex with the man, even though she don't want to, which means rape her. Do you see the story? If we go back to Ibn Kathir, we're speaking about what to do to the Christians. This is why the, after Muhammad he says you have to force the Christian to walk in the sewage He says this is why the leader of the faithful He's the leader of the faithful Umar al Khattab the best uh, the Muslim they say he is very 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 much injustice This guy the best injustice in Islam May Allah pleased with him Demanded his will known the conditions to be met by the Christians these conditions that consider their continue humiliation 
Do you see it? Disgrace. The scars of the hadith narrated, etc. says that I recorded it from Umar al-Khattab. May Allah please replace with him saying the terms of the treaty of peace. Treaty of peace. Treaty of peace. Umar, he made a treaty of peace. What is the treaty of peace? Read carefully. Either you kill you all or you accept this. This is not treaty of peace. This is a treaty of humiliation. He says, in the name of Allah, most gracious, etc. This document from the serve of Allah, blah, 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 blah. And then he says, when Muslims come to us, we request that safety for ourselves, children, property, and followers of our religion. We made conditions on ourselves. This is the Christian they have to sign. That neither we act in our areas, a monastery, a monastery churches, or a sanctuary for a monk, nor restore any place of worship, which means if a church is collapsing, you cannot fix it. You cannot fix a church if it's collapsing for any purpose. And that need restoration, nor use for any of them for the purpose of enmity against Muslims. We will not prevent any Muslim from resting in our churches. Muslim can go inside our church to sleep inside for any time. Whether they come by day or night, you have to open the, the guy. He says, oh, open the church for me. I want to sleep inside. You open the church. That's it. And we will open our doors. This is you, your house now. Your, our doors, our houses of worship for the way farrier pass by. Any, any, any Muslim fighters walking by, you have to open their doors of the churches, all of it. And Muslims will come as a guest, any guest with them too. Will enjoy boarding food for free three days for free. A Muslim he can come to your house, he can stay in your house for three days and he eat for free. And you can't even say to him, Leave. Now read the rest. Even he put conditions that we will not teach our children Islam. Do you believe it? We will not incorrupt our stamps in Arabic. Or sell liquor. We will have a front of our hair cut. You see the the front of your head. You have to shave it to zero, just to make you look funny, to make fun of you. All the Christians at that time they have to shave the front of their head, as if they are bald. Do you believe it? Yet those liars in their videos. They say to us that Muhammad was a prophet of peace. He is against hate. When the Quran says clearly that Allah spread hatred and enmity between the Christians until the judgment day. When the Quran says even take not Christians and Jews as a friends. Muslims are forbidden to take us as a friends. If we go in the Quran, chapter 5. The same chapter he chose for us from, he chose number first, uh, verse number 16. You will see the Quran in chapter 4, uh, verse number 14, chapter 5, saying, Allah will spread hatred. And then if you go all the way, hatred between the Christians, as we see, let us zoom in, until the judgment day, Allah, he will target the Christian, spreading hatred between them, until judgment day. And then, brother, in chapter, in the same chapter, verse number 51, Allah says, take not Christians and Jews as a friends. But those people, they are making videos saying Islam is not teaching hate. Well, if a Muslim cannot take me as a friend, so what I am? Obviously, I'm an enemy. Is it me who's saying that or the Quran? So why they quote for us from that Quran what they like and they did not tell us the truth? So my friend, I hope all of you, will copy our videos and download them and share them and ex you know expose the lies of this organization because obviously it's paid by the devil anyone who promote lies saying sharia law protect women protect freedom all this garbage it's a lie muhammad is anti racism racism are you sure are you sure that muhammad is anti racism let us see if this is true or not shall we Muhammad is anti-racism. <laughs> that's 
that's a that is something that is in you and they would bring you someone who speaks or supposedly some somebody presenting like a Christians he's a Christian minister what making it really horrible that a Christian minister spreading this propaganda they brought you one is a Catholic she's a female they brought you one is a Protestant they brought you from every church a liar who is serving the devil to lie to us let us see I'm trying to find the the hadith. <clears throat> because I don't like really to say things without my giving a reference. Let us see this one as a start. What is the most hated enemy for Allah? Who is that person? You believe it or not Muhammad he claimed it's a black man this is number one person whom Allah he hate most read carefully when Abu Huraira blah 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 okay so uh, okay and then he says uh, the most hateful among the creation of Allah who is a black man and obviously this is not a racism and by the way the Muslim they quote for you uh, what it's called the sermon of uh, the last sermon that is a fabricated story even even in the book of hadith it's rejected is not accepted it's not in any of the Sahih books which mean none of the authentic books have that story and the proven in front of you and by the way Muhammad he made it clear when he says al abdu bil abd wal hurru bil hur the black for the black the free for the free the word the abid in Arabic for those who do not know mean two things mean you are a slave and you are black in the same time which means black slave you see here it says al abdu bil abd you see, when a Muslim he says, My name Abdullah, what Abdullah mean? That's mean he is supposed to humiliating himself, making himself equal to Abd, which means equal to a black slave. But he accepts to call himself such a name only in front of the name of Allah. For all of them, they are slave of Allah at the end of the day. But Abd is a word mean black and a slave in the same time so in the case of murder this is the justice of Allah free for the free the white for the white the black for the black and the women for the women which means Islam divide the human being to three category 
free slave, free man, slave man, and female. And the penalty is free for the free. This is the highest, which means a free will not be killed for a free man, for, for a slave man. So if a free man, he murder a slave man, he will not be killed for that. He will be killed only if he murdered a free man. So if a free white Muslim, he killed a black, even if he's a, he's a Muslim, supposed he will not be killed. But later, the Muslim, they say, well, the, the, the Hadith says that uh, uh, if a Muslim kill a Muslim, should be killed. And they say this verse is abrogated. And as we said, that this verse proven to us again, not only the racism, the stupidity. Because what kind of law this law is, I kill your chicken, I kill, you kill my chicken. My chicken did nothing. You know, and your chicken. So now we have two victims. Imagine I go and kill your slave. And then what do you do? You kill my slave? So now we have two victims, two slaves. Have you ever heard of a stupid logic like this? In different hadith, let me find the hadith where it says that Allah He created the black people from the left shoulder of Adam. Let us see. I'm just trying to get the hadith. Let me see. This website, sometime you try to open it, it doesn't open. Uh, the hadith I'm looking for. Give me a second. I don't know what's wrong with this website, but we will find it. Not sure what's wrong. Okay. Not sure what's wrong. Okay. Not sure what's wrong. Give me a second. I, I hate to mention something without giving okay. uh, proof of it. Not sure what's wrong. Give me a second. I, I hate to mention something without giving uh, okay. proof of it. I'm not sure what's wrong. Give me a second. Because they will I, say, I oh, mention something see, without giving where is that what he mentioned? Proof of it. That Allah, he claimed wrong. that um, the Prophet says, Give Allah me created the black people oh, to go to evil. He designed them to go to evil and the white to go to heaven. That Allah, he claimed that if this is not racism, says, what is racism? Let us see. He designed them to go to evil and the white to go to heaven. That Allah, he claimed that if this is not racism, what is racism? Let us see. He designed them to go to evil and the white. 
to go to heaven. If this is not racism, what is racism? It was signed in the white to go to heaven. If this is not racism, what is racism? It was signed in the white to go to heaven. If this is not racism, what is racism? It was signed in the white. the sound. If this is not racism, what is racism? It was signed in the white. the sound. Okay. Did that just happen? Is that happening from before or just now? No? Okay. I don't know why. All right. That's fine. Uh, Let us find it. I have actually, I, I have the, the link, but each time I try to uh, uh, to to uh, to open it, it come plain. It doesn't show anything really. It is seen here. Here we go. Finally, all right. Read with me carefully, please. Let us put it in the screen. Allah Messenger, peace be upon him, said, that by the way, it doesn't say peace be upon him, it says Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which means may Allah, Allah pray on him and salute him. Allah created Adam when he, he created him and he struck his right shoulder and there emitted from it white of spring as if they were white ants and he struck his left shoulder and there emitted from it the black of spring, as if they were charcoal. He then said to those who had been emitted from the right shoulder for paradise, and I do not mind. And then he said to those who emitted from the left shoulder, which means the black, are for hell, and I don't mind. And this is a pure Islamic website. I have nothing to do with it. Any Muslim have a comment, and I will post the link in the chat. So next time, if we have a, uh, if we were looking for it, you guys maybe you can help me. I have actually, but for some reason, I have a problem with my browser. It doesn't work. Here we go. So they say to us, Muhammad is a person who do not teach racism. Is that racism or not? I mean, if this is not racism, what is racism? Muhammad is saying that white people are the good people, they will go to heaven, all of them, and the black people will go to hell. Not only that, he confirmed that in the Quran too. He claimed that even Allah, Allah, he will make every Muslim pure white and every non-Muslim pure black. Chapter 39, there's many verses, but let us show one by one. Chapter 39, verse number 60. Speaking about those who refuse Allah teaching, what Allah will do to them? Allah, he will make their faces black. Do you see it? And this is not my translation, by the way. This is a translation of Muslims. Do you see it? Allah will turn all those who they are non-muslims black and then we go to the front place not only in this place chapter 3 verse number 106 the day when allah make people white and the day allah will make the face of people black 
how clear we can make it more than this in the day of judgment and not only that in chapter 27 verse number 82 it says that Allah will send a beast it's called a Jassasa and this beast will have the stick of Musa's and the ring of Solomon and it's going to hit you in your face and if you are a Muslim you will be more white and if you are non-Muslim Allah will make you pure dark black which means in Islam black is a sign of sin and by the way somebody says okay uh, if Islam is a racist and it's against the black color, so how come the Muslim they kiss the black stone? Uh, that's a good question actually, but maybe you do not know that the Muslims don't believe that the black stone was black. The black stone was whiter than milk. And was blackened by sin and this is again confirmed that Muhammad teaching the Muslims that you commit sin Against Allah and sin here by the way, it's different uh, from our value of sin because in Islam if you attack the neighbor take their wives as long as They are not in a treaty with Muslims to have protection and, and, and pay them like if you if you, let's say there's a Christian village and they are not living under Islam and they are not paying jizya and then you can attack them and take their money. So this is not a sin. This is a good thing to do. This is jihad. So what when we say sin in Islam is have different value from sin in Christianity. Totally different. Uh, let us see what Muhammad said about the black stone. Uh, I'm trying to find the correct hadith. There's many hadith, but this website doesn't have all of them. Here we go. The Messenger of Allah said, The black stone descended from paradise, and it was more white than milk. Then it was blackened by sin of the children of Adam. So what Islam teach, that the more you commit sin, the more Allah punish you and make you black and sin against is not again is not the same as our sin like it is sin not to do jihad if you can do jihad in Islam if you don't attack the neighbors the Christians the Jews the Hindus especially if you can like you are young and you can do it so sin here is what Muslim do or people do against the will of Allah and it's not sin as we because the will of Allah is not the will of Jesus Jesus says, love your enemy. The Quran says, torture them, kill them, wherever you find them. The Messenger of Allah said, the black stone descended from paradise and it was whiter than milk or more white than milk. And then it was blackened by the sin. So sin will lead you into, according to Muhammad, to be black. So the black stone is not kissed because it is black. It's kissed because the real black stone is whiter than milk sent by Allah. And each time you kiss the black stone, the black stone is sucking your sin, supposedly, and that make it black. However, we find reference from Islamic books saying that the black stone was white, but because women, they used to put their hands from their blood, their, their, their private part during the period, for this is a stone was worshipped as a stone present the fertility, Baal, the god of fertility. So it's a vagina of fertility. So women and men, they used to go naked around the Kaaba. And women, they go, the women who they have period, which means they are not carrying a child yet. They want to get, a, they want to they have a baby and they cannot. So what they do, they walk around the Kaaba naked and then they touch their vagina with their hand. And then they place their hand inside the black stone, praying to the God of fertility to make them carry a child. And we can find that actually, about people going around the Kaaba naked in many reference in Islamic books as you see here they used to circumambulate around the Kaaba totally naked in the state of nudity do you see it well I'm showing reference my friend which one you want the black stone this one here we go 
This is Sahih Muslim. Hadith number 1219. Remember those hadith, by the way, is not accurate reading. It's just how they made them in the, in the translation. So they used to go around the Kaaba in the state of nudity. Ask yourself what was the religion exist around the Kaaba at that time where people they used to go totally naked simply it is nothing but the black stone was a was, was a presenting the god of fertility Baal this is a pagan religion and Muhammad he just continue worshiping the same thing he's just a pagan like the rest of them actually I uh, I have a conversation with the site it's called ask a Muslim and I asked him why the Prophet he uh, this is I did it like just last week actually maybe I can find you the the video I did record it <laughs> you know uh, I asked him why the Prophet he kissed the black stone uh, he said uh, uh, let me I don't remember really what he said let me see see I hope I still have the conversation. Yeah, I have it. Here we go. <clears throat> I will mute the sound. There's no need for the sound. But I, I did record the conversation, you know. And the conversation was as the following. Let me mute the sound. There's no need for a sound. Because it was text only. I will show you. Okay, I said to him, hello. <coughs> His name is Amran. This is from a website called Ask a Muslim. Ask a Muslim, as you see. I said to him, thank you for answering. <coughs> he said to me, you are welcome. Okay. The text is slow. The website is slow. I got some questions about Islam, if you don't mind. Let me move the, the thing a little bit faster. Okay, here we go. Why Muslims kiss the black stone, I ask him. The answer. I believe it because the Prophet once did that hence so it is uh, to simulate him it is not that Muslims worship the stone this is an answer so I said okay so you are saying that the Prophet was worshiping the stone but the Muslim did not <laughs> so he's saying to me the reason the Muslim they kiss the black stone just because the Prophet he kiss it but the question is why he why why he kiss it okay and why the Muslims kiss it? Because the Prophet kiss it. Okay, why he kiss it? So I said to him, so you are saying that the Prophet, he was worshipping the stone, but you Muslim don't? And then he said, not at all. Kissing something does not mean you worship. Kissing one child would not mean child is worshipped. I said, but it's a stone, not your child. So why the Prophet kiss it? And then, he, he said to me, <laughs> even, uh, you see, we have to move it faster because this uh, chat is not, even so, there could be many reasons to check the reason, please visit Islamic. Yeah. Okay, I, I thought he would answer me. So you have no answer, yet the site name Ask a Muslim? He asked me to go to a different website. You know? <laughs> so you have no answer yet the name of the site and then I insist I said so why why the prophet kissed the stone 
You see, the, the site name is Ask a Muslim. And yet he's asking me to go to a different website now. I insist, I said, okay, why the Prophet kiss the stone? He will not answer me. And now, look, I said to him, I thought Islam is not a pagan cult. I thought Islam is not pagan, he said. Sorry for that, because the video, you know, is not uh, showing. We are here to help. That does not mean we will have the answer, all the answers. I mean, if, if, a, if a simple question like this about black stone, you have no answer for it. But because no Muslim have an answer for it, it's not because he, you know, you no Muslim have an answer. Okay. By the way, as far as worship is uh, concerned, that the Prophet worship God alone, he come to correct this distortion of the uh, uh, people of. Uh, let's see. Let's go back. Worship God alone. Uh, this thing is. Let me stop the video. He come to correct distortion people had made regard to worship of one God. Okay, I said to him, still no answer. You worship God alone, but yet kissing a stone. <laughs> and then he says to me, go and visit this website. Look at this. I li like, I like I said, kissing a thing does not mean you worship it. Okay, it mean what? So I said to him again, so why you kiss it? So why he kiss it? He like it? He said, you worship God, yet you do not kiss God. That may help your... Okay, right? You see, he have, they have no answer. And then he, he hang up on me. I do not know the specific uh, uh, reason, what he mean. Like I said, this is uh, interest you. Uh, I have given you a link to check it out. Hmm? You give me a link to check it out. So you are a Muslim, okay? So you do not kiss God. You do not kiss God, but you kiss a stones. So you are a Muslim, but yet you do not know such a simple answer. And then he says to me, "I do not know where you're going." I mean, it's just simple a question. Where are we going? Uh, obviously, we are going nowhere, because this is what Islam is about. You go nowhere. And then he hang up on, on me, the conversation. See? The conversation, Imran, he closed the conversation. As And what the site name? Ask a Muslim. So ask a Muslim are willing to answer you as long as you are a fool who don't ask questions you need. It's exposing the cult of Islam. Very simple question. Muhammad, he worship one God, but he kisses stones. And why he kissed the stones? Nobody can tell us why. And then we find that the black stone was nothing but a vagina God part where people worship it so they can have babies. But what? We have a site. It's called Ask a Muslim. Let me ask you, my friend, which one you think can teach you better about Islam? Ask a Muslim or ask a Christian, especially Christian prince? Obviously, Christian prince he is the one who knows, and you must have known nothing. Tomorrow we will be try to be live on air again, and with this we will try to stop. And I'm happy today we have no difficulty with that uh, uh, broadcasting. It was good. The sound was good. And now we are able even to put uh, questions or comment in the screen. Uh, as you see, uh, I like this uh, software actually it's very simple to use uh, and then supposedly we will pay $20 a month uh, later this is like now for free we are using it for free so but, but it sound good right the voice was good the uh, the image was not uh, buffering or do we have any problem no problem right look like a, uh, it's a good software so Maybe we will continue using it. And actually, I like this idea that we can. Uh, we can post any comment. Sheila VM, 
Amran run away. No, he did not run away. He had four wives waiting for him, sister. What are you talking about? They don't run away. All right. Yeah, and yet they want to talk. They want to. They they, they 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 give us headaches speaking about worshiping one God, one God, one God. But take us stones. One God, one God. We go around stones. One God, one God. We pray in the direction of a stone. One God, one God. And they believe even the the black stone is the right hand of Allah. If this is what one God religion believe is all about stones. So but what about ten gods? And by the way, the idea of having one God or twenty God. I mean, who care? Let me explain to you. I mean, it's very silly. Muslim, when you speak to us about, uh, we believe in one God, monotheism. You see, you believe in monotheism or not. The question is, your God is true or not? Let us say there's somebody who believes in a thousand God. And there is thousand God. That means he's right. Correct? It's not about how many they are. This is silly. This is actually stupid to think that you are superior because you believe in one God. Well, here we go. There's a, uh, I heard that's in, uh, in, uh, I think in Sweden, they approve a group of people to build a temple who worship Shaitan, Satan. Okay, their God is one, his name is Satan. So, a group of like 80 people in the whole country, they make a request, we want to worship Satan, we want uh, to build a temple for us. The government approved them. Freedom of religion, supposedly. So they worship Satan, and by the way, they worship Satan, but look like they are better than, the one, than, than, than Muhammad because they worship Satan, yet they did not kill anyone there yet. You, you know what I mean? They worship Satan, but they are not going after people to shoot them or to kill them or to, you know, to slaughter, but yet they worship Satan. So worshiping one God or 10 God or 50 God or 7 God or a, a 4 God, who care? The question is, is your God is exist? What kind of God you do not know how the baby created? What kind of God he think the sun set in murky water? What what kind of God he think women have a sperm coming from their ribs? What kind of God he you know? I mean, it, this is you have one God, but he is a stupid God. Your God is Muhammad, my friend. We know that you have one God. His name is Muhammad, but your God is a silly God, and he is not good for me. Is he good for you? To learn more about the cult of Islam, feel free to read my books. You can find them in Amazon, in all countries, and more books will come soon. And uh, by the way, I uh, soon I will announce a channel which is for is going to be totally different channel from what we do here. Uh, that channel is going to be to speak about things have nothing to do with religion, nothing to do with politics. It's going to be for us as a Christians and non-Christians to have fun together and to speak and maybe review uh, quality things. So we will talk about countries, we will talk about tourism, we will talk about even product. And uh, and I think this will be a very good idea. And then YouTube cannot flag us, correct? I mean, here they have an excuse to take our videos down. There they cannot. <laughs> So what do you think guys about the idea? Is it good? It's going to be a place, a channel, we will talk about things that have nothing to do with religion, nothing to do with politics, and no headache. All right? So it's going to be like a break from all of this garbage, and we will do a review. Like, you know, for me, I've been in many, many countries, so I will, uh, I will share with you my experience about those countries and uh, things I do, things uh, we should do, things we should not do, and even we can review product if people ask for that, uh, I don't mind. Uh, it's just a channel to be a family together and to take a break from this cult. So tell me in the, in the text, in the comment later, what do you think about this idea, if it's good or not? And we will go for it if you guys you think it's a good idea. Cooking recipe? Why not? I can actually. I'm I am very good in cooking. You see, if women they see how I cook, they will hate me. <laughs> I cook very good. Yeah, why not? I mean, it doesn't matter really what we do. It's going to be for fun. In the same time, uh, we have a place. It's like let's say we have a club where we meet always. 
and that will be secure because we will not talk about religion we will not talk about politics and those the only two things can take you down you see youtube i just i i flag a video of a woman going naked naked and she have her video there and for more than a year and nobody nobody complained i mean in youtube you know it says in youtube report nudity or the woman totally naked in the video just to, to to bring people to click at her video and youtube did not take it down my videos is dangerous and here you see the hypocrisy if a man he go naked they will take his video down why if a woman she take go naked she they don't take it what what, what is different why it's okay you see that you see the hypocrisy even even from the police if a woman she is walking in the street and her underwear is coming out from her pant they don't mind they look you know if a man he walk in the street and his pant is coming down showing his underwear the police will stop and he says you cannot do that you know what I mean why he cannot the woman she can oh uh, because he liked the view so women she is going naked in the in YouTube nobody take her videos down she is totally naked she's wearing nothing you know, I was like w watching a video, like in YouTube. Sometimes I put it about beach, etc. And then they keep like uh, auto auto play, you know, one after one. And then suddenly I look at the TV, and what this woman? She she's wearing nothing. But my video is, is dangerous. My video is uh, risky. You know, we speak about God. We speak about what's right, what's wrong. But going naked is not going to take you down. So anyway. Later, I will announce to you the channel we will be in, and uh, you can join us and you can subscribe if you like to do so. Adam, he want to debate. Who is this Adam? Adam. Okay, Mr. Adam. Well, if we go uh, live on air tomorrow, feel free uh, to uh, to contact me tomorrow, maybe, because now almost we are done, and you can invite Eve with you. Oh, I forgot you are a Muslim. You can invite all the Eves with you just to take care of you during the debate because you will need support. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, maybe tomorrow, if not the day after, Christ is Lord and Islam is false. See you soon.